Getting past a parkour checkpoint is no easy task. I can't use parkour as a bribe here, and I'm definitely not guessing the parkour password this time. That means the only way through is to fight. Oh, saving the world is exhausting. All right, let's get this over with. No point in introducing myself since this should be over soon. You know, I probably shouldn't be this confident since these people seem to know way more about parkour battles than I do, but I'm still the parkour champion, so being confident is a part of the job. I started the battle with a three block vertical sideways ladder jump, but the parkour fighter didn't even look surprised, even though I just challenged him to a parkour battle. All right, champion, let's see if you're as good as they say. I watched as the fighter attempted the jump, but failed. Oh, this is gonna be quicker than I thought. Okay, that attack should have done at least five hearts, so one more attack and I can get back to saving the world. Might as well just put this guy out of his misery and hit him with the signature FBO 360. Under pressure, I made a three block flower pot 360. Against most people, that would have ended the battle, but I soon realized that this wasn't a normal parkour battle. Oh great, I should have just tried guessing the password. This attack will give you poison. His attack only works if his jump is harder than mine, but I don't think a three block brewing stand jump is harder than my 360. I think I'm about to win this, but when the fighter went for the jump, he added a 180. I bet you thought this would be easy. Adding a 180 to his jump must have made his attack harder because he would have taken damage by now. This is not good. If I don't build a harder attack right now, I'm gonna get poisoned and that could be the end of me. That's why this is a perfect time to set up a jump that I've never attempted before. It's simple. If I make this jump, I win the battle. And the jump I was going for was a three block ladder 360. This had to work. I went for the 360, please make it, but I failed. The attack hit me and now I was being poisoned. I actually thought I was gonna win this battle, but now the odds are stacked against me. By the time the poison wore off, I had half a heart left and the fighter was already planning out his next attack. From here on out, if I make a single mistake, my journey is over. But that's why I'm the one trying to save the world. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. The fighter was setting up a parkour combo with ice blocks. Okay, this is good. I just mastered ice block jump. Wait, what? Before the fighter even attempted his attack, he just slipped off. Uh, okay, that was not how I thought it was gonna end. Doesn't matter, it looks like it's another win for me. <laughs> Let's go. Even though I barely survived the parkour battle, I was stepping into more dangerous territory. This was where I was gonna find the disc to summon the glass legend of parkour. There are four discs I need to find in order to get back to parkour civilization. I managed to stay alive and get one of the discs so far, but the parkour fighters are still racing to get them before me, and now I know there's a boss leading them all. But if I can get the final three discs first, First, I can save the world. So far, I am very much liking the ice more than the glass, especially since most of the jumps are glass panes. Not that it makes a difference, but before I go any further, let's get my health back. The entire time I've been here, I've been using my champion boots to gain my hunger back. That's one part I didn't get. As the parkour champion, I don't really need food anymore, but everyone else does, so how are they getting food? All right, I'm just gonna focus on getting the disc and get out of here as fast as I can. This journey was different than the last one. Last time, I made it through the checkpoint without blowing my cover, but this time, well, the guard's in the void. If some of the other fighters realize that the guard is gone, they're gonna come after me. So I'm just gonna beat this course, get the disc, and get out of here before any of the fighters can catch me. Easier said than done, obviously, because this wasn't just any ordinary parkour course. This course was designed for someone who is a master at glass parkour. Now, I'm all for having self-confidence and whatnot, but the reality is, is that I have never done jumps like these. This course was about to be all unexplored territory for me, and I I only have one chance to make all of these jumps, but the clock is ticking and I need to get these discs before any of the fighters do. You know, I would have been a lot more comfortable if the glass parkour course were glass blocks and not panes, but when do I ever get my way with anything? I will say that one thing keeping me going is that if I do make it back alive, I mean, I would have to be the greatest of all time at parkour, right? While that thought sounds amazing, I just remembered that I've only gotten one disc so far. So if I manage to survive this course, which by looking at it doesn't seem likely to be honest, I still have two more massive parkour courses to go through before I can make it back. All right, let's break this down real quick. So if I miss a single jump, I die. If I have another battle with a parkour fighter, which is probably gonna happen, I die. And if Siwat has been plotting against me the entire time, 
Uh, well, I probably die. Well, all right. I think my chances are looking great. I take that back. Bro, what even are those parkour jumps? All right, let's just get this over with. Glass jumps are all about precision. Each glass jump is only one eighth of the size of a regular block, meaning each jump has to be the perfect distance. That also means I get no momentum for this three block vertical jump. Please parkour God. Oh, okay. And the next jump is just as hard. The four block jump onto a single pane was terrifying, but I went for it and I barely stayed on the edge. Bro, to think I could have been at home, just chilling, getting a parkour delivery to my house. Wait, do I even have a house anymore? Let's see, if this jump is possible, I only have to do a two block jump. This has to be a shortcut, right? No way I'm not taking this. Let's go, I get to skip some- No! No, that's a trick for sure. That jump's not possible. All right, no shortcuts for me today. I guess I got to take the hard way. I slowly made my way through the course, making sure to take my time with every single jump. As of now, I didn't see any other parkour fighters doing the course, so I didn't need to worry about completing this course fast. I just needed to stay alive. But what if there's no fighters here because someone already completed the course and got the disc? All right, let's just hope that's not the case. Oh my- Bro, are you serious? Not one of these staircases. Thankfully, I made it to the top of the horribly designed staircase, but then I saw something on the ground. It looked like a piece of paper. I picked it up and it said something on it. It said, don't finish the course. I had no clue what to make of this. I was so close to the end. I was almost at the second disc. So either someone is warning me about something or this was an attempt to try to make me not get the disc. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. I decided that the second option was more likely. The fighters know that I'm looking for the discs. So maybe they had someone put this note here to try to get me to stop looking for them. But if that isn't their plan and someone is warning me, then I could be jumping into an ambush. At this point though, I don't even think it matters. As of now, the only way I know of getting back to parkour civilization is getting all four discs. So even if getting this disc is going to lead me into a trap, I have to still try to get it. Only a few more jumps and I would be at the end. Do I go for a shortcut now? Why not? Let's do it. I swear, all of this better be some crazy test to become the parkour god or something because there's no way I'm doing this for free. All right, one more jump and the disc is mine. Let's do this. I went for the last final jump and I made it. I had completed the Glass Legends parkour course. Let's go. Let's get this disc or let's fall into a trap. I hope it's the disc. When I stepped onto the pedestal, the dispenser gave me the exact item I wanted to see. The disc to summon the glass legend of parkour was now in my possession. All right, two down, two to go. And now I just gotta worry about getting off of this course. Oh, this is the worst. I was making my way back to meet Siwat to get the compass for the third disc, but that's when I saw something. It was a massive building that I've never seen before. Obviously, I want to get the discs and get out of here as fast as I can, but my friend is still missing. Maybe there's a chance he's alive and he made it into this building and he's hiding here. Even if he's not here, I can afford a little detour to find out. The building I walked into looked like it was some old library, although most of the bookshelves looked like they were empty. Jeez, this staircase is even worse than the glass one. I didn't even think that was possible. I didn't know what I was looking for, but at the very least, I was hoping I could find a book that would at least give me a little information. I looked around until I finally saw a bookshelf with a book left in it. Okay, let me try not to fall off the edge while grabbing this. The book was written in parkour, but I could still understand a little bit of it. It looked like he was talking about the champion boots, something about hunger and powers. Well, that's not really new information for me. I've been using these boots to feed myself the entire time. Okay, let's see what else I can find in this library. I looked around and still there was no sight of my friend. I knew the chances were slim, but some part of me still believed that he would be here. But that's when I went up to the next floor and I saw someone. Oh no, I do not want to battle. Please just don't turn around. And she turned around. It's you. You're back. Oh, I always knew you would change your mind. Uh, right. I'm back. I never blamed you for what you did. I know it was a tough decision. Okay, this woman does not know who I am, but I have no clue what she's talking about. I just gotta go with it, I guess? I assume you're here to get your friend, correct? My... my friend? You know where my friend is? Oh, yes. I got the book around here somewhere. Forgive me. It's been a while since I've had to do parkour. I should be able to reach it. Oh, not to worry. It's... I'll, I'll get it. It's easy parkour. It's just that book right there, right? Yeah, don't worry. I'll do... No! Oh, no, that's not good. Well... At least she went out quickly. All right, let's go get this book. I grabbed the book off the shelf and I started reading. The book said something about a prison, a prison where it's impossible to parkour. If the fighters captured my friend, that's probably where they took him. This is good news. This is great news, actually. This is the only evidence I have that my friend might be alive. And maybe Siwat knows where this prison is. I made my way back to Siwat to get the third compass from him. 
All right, I'm back. Whether you like it or not. Hello, see what? Where? What are you doing in the corner? Are you napping? Bro, I'm tired. You take so long to get these things. I take so long to get these things, bro. I hate you so much. I got the second disc, but it's getting a little trickier to get past the checkpoints. But I still got it. I'm ready to go get the third one. See what threw me the third compass that would lead me to the legend of crystal parkour. There's one more thing. I think my friend might still be alive in some prison. Do you know anything about it? If that's true, then there's a chance we can save him. But we gotta get the third and fourth disc first. Okay, you're right. We'll get the discs before the fighters do. We'll save my friend and we'll get out of here. As the journey goes on, the jumps get harder and the stakes get higher. I've saved the world by myself before, but this time, I don't know if I can do it alone. But if I can find my friend before it's too late, then I think we have a chance.